Hi, I'm Sarah Erickson with Osborne Books and More, and this is a quick introduction video of some of my favorite books that Osborne has to offer. I know many of you are new, so I just want to take a couple of minutes today to introduce you to some of our favorites. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg with Osborne, um, but here we go. The first thing I want to um, talk to you about is, I don't know if you are aware or not, but Usborne also has some great fundraising activities that we can do. Um, we can work with schools and libraries as well. And one of my favorite fundraising activities that we do is called Cards for a Cause. Um, it's a box of cards. These cards are amazing. And um, they're all handcrafted individual cards and envelopes, 30 cards come in a box. So if you have anyone that maybe needs to um, raise money for Girl Scouts or a uniform or anything like that, let me know. Or if you know of a school in need, please reach out to an Osborne consultant because we have great programs that, can, um, that we can offer to you. All right, now let's get started with the books. The first book I want to show you is called On the Farm. Now this book is great for a brand new baby all the way up to toddler. I loved this book when my girls were babies because it <laughs> folds out and you can just lay it right on the floor during tummy time and they spend hours staring at it. The black and white contrast is something that newborn babies can really focus on. As they get older they can start reading the words. On the back it's a beautiful picture of a farm. So um, again, great for babies. Next we have That's Not My Series. That's Not My Series is one of our most popular series and if you've never heard of Usborne, you've probably heard of our That's Not My Series. They're touchy-feely books. Um, they have a mouse on every page for the child to find. These are also great for infant all the way up to toddler. The, every picture has a very dark outline for the children to focus on. Um, the words repeat, that's not my, on every page. So when your child is learning to read, they have that word recognition and they can start reading along with you as they get a little bit older. Um, this is That's Not My Hedgehog, one of the, um, there's over 30 in that collection. So pretty much anything you can think of we have in the That's Not My. Next, um, this one is my first hundred words. We also have my animal world and my farm world and um, a counting one. These are awesome. So it comes in this little box, has like a little magnet closure, and these are just perfect for little hands. So, as you can see, there's just a bunch of these little tiny books in here. And um, so this is first hundred words, so this is food and it has all the different food. And then if you can see, it has the matching picture inside the box here, so they can also, when they're finished, match the picture and put it back in to the box. Um, my one-year-old absolutely adores this because she loves to play with it and put it in and out, and then my three-year-old likes to go through and try to read the words and the stories that go along with it. So these are great for, you know, baby up to toddler as well. Next we have our phonics series. Um, we have tons in our phonics series as well and you can actually buy these in combined volumes. Cow Takes a Bow and Ted and Friends are two of the combined volumes or individually. This is Bug in a Rug. So these are just rhymy phonic stories that tell a cute little story and help when children are learning to read or just great if you'd like to read a story with your children. This is our Muddle and Match series series. This one is um, full of alliteration. This muddle and match book is adventure. We also have jungle animals. Um, I think we have, we have um, muddle and match imagine, muddle and match monsters. We have a few in the series. Um, and so like I said, they're full of alliteration. So you can also mix and match the story and the pictures. So when they're starting to read, it's fun to read along and when they're younger before they're to the age where they can read it's fun to match the colors or the pictures or to mix them all up so I'll read a quick excerpt from this and this is Colin the courageous cowboy rushes to his rely oh I had the wrong I had it all mixed up I thought the blue was right Colin the courageous cowboy calmly canters on his con constant companion to catch the cunning criminal very cute. Next we have, um, so this is, ah, 
Um, we have busy books, we have pull back and wind up books. So these come with a little toy and you can either wind it back to go um, or, or you wind up the little knob. And this is the busy bug book. So each story has a track on every page. And it also has a little story that goes along with it. So I'm going to try to see if you can see this. So you take your busy bug, and this one you're going to wind it back on the page, place it on the track, and around and around it goes. Um, these are so much fun. I mean, hours of entertainment for the kids. Next we have a squirrel's tail. A squirrel's tail. This is um, a classic for sure. So I'm not sure if... Okay, you can play with the busy bug. Here you go. There you go. Um, it comes with a little squirrel, and the little squirrel goes... Thank you. You want me to do it? You ready? The little squirrel goes in and out. This book has been around since um, many of you were children, maybe. Asborn Books and More has been around for 26 years. So this book might be similar to something you remember. So you follow the, the little trail and you move your squirrel in and out of the book. Very cute. And if your squirrel gets lost or broken or anything happens on the back, it shows you how to make a new little squirrel, which is very cute. Many people wonder if we have books with lessons for children who are going through things. And this one is Usborne's um, Aesop Stories for Little Children. And so this has a bunch of different stories in here. Again, this is a collection. And so this has got a fox and the crow, the hare and the tortoise, the greedy dog, the lion and the mouse. So these are great stories to teach your children lessons. Great illustrations on every page, not too many words. And this is Aesop's for little children. We also have it illustrated in that too um, for older children. Um, Osborne, one of the things Osborne does great is our nonfiction series. Hi, can you please move out of the way? Thank you. Is it mommy? Um, so in our beginner, this is a beginner series. Some this is some of our beginning nonfiction books. This one's volcanoes. We have a ton in this series as well, and these are great because they're internet reference, so you can go online to learn a little bit more. And within the story, it not only has an illustration, but it has a um, it has pictures as well. So when children are starting to move past books with just illustrations, they have they have beautiful photography in these as well so you know we've got some we've got volcanoes trains planet earth a bunch of different ones we also have great story time stories so this one is dan the taxi man it is one of my daughter's favorites um this is a rhymey book she likes to rhyme along so it says um you know dan is picking up everyone from the the band um and they're going to the show so here's dan beep beep the taxi man going to the show and picking up the band climb inside while you still can with dan beep beep the taxi man very cute story um the author of this story also wrote the book too many tomatoes um which is about having too many tomatoes but um giving them away and sharing it's a great book that teaches giving Next we have our illustrated stories. So we have a bunch in this collection as well, and these are beautiful. So this is just a collection of stories. They have illustrations. These are for, great for older children who are reading alone um, and want something else to read. Or, you know, story time at bedtime at night. You can read these with your children. We have collections. So this one is princes and princesses, but we also have um, individual illustrated stories such as Heidi or The Wizard of Oz. So these are beautiful books. Lastly, I want to talk about our chapter books, which are great for older children. So we have cha chapter books for a beginning reader. So starting 
um, you can see that the words on every page are very large, but there still are some illustrations to help catch um, your children's attention when they're learning to read. This is Billy B. Brown. We have Billy B. and we also have Hey Jack. They're friends. Um, different two different chapter book series, but they're in each other's books because they're friends. Um, next we have Penny Dreadful. So this is um, as your children are getting a little bit older, the words are getting a little bit smaller. There's still some illustrations in there for them. Penny Dreadful is very similar to like a Junie B. Jones kind of book. Um, and then we have a series for even older children. So this is our True Stories of series. This one's um, crime and detection. So this one talks all about um, some real life crime stories. So American Sherlock Holmes. It's got some great different different stories in there that are very interesting for some from older kids. So those are some of my favorite books. Um, I hope you enjoyed.